In a question like this, you have to draw a triangle. Now they tell you that the angle is 37, so that's instantly quadrant 1. They say that it's sin equals to k, so what you do is you say k over 1, you fill in 37. My advice would be to always try to find this angle by just using sum of angles in a triangle, and that's going to be 53. Now sin is opposite over hypotenuse. You then use Pythagoras to find the missing length, and it's going to be 1 minus k squared or square root of 1 minus k squared, which is not the same as 1 minus k. Okay, a lot of students think that it's not the same. You leave it just like that. Okay, so question A asks for cos 37. So cos 37 is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is going to be the square root of 1 minus k squared over 1, which is just the same as the square root of 1 minus k squared. Next one is cos 143. So cos 143, that angle is larger than 90, so it needs to be reduced first. So we can say 180 minus 37. And cos is negative in that quadrant, so it becomes negative cos 37. And so all that you do is you say negative, and then cos 37 we already worked out in the previous question as the square root of 1 minus k squared. So you'll just have a negative in the front of question C is sin 143, so that must be reduced as sin 180 minus 37. Sin is positive in that quadrant, that's quadrant 2, and so it's just sin 37. Now you can get the answer of your triangle, but what you could do is just see there that sin 37 is k. Tan 37 is the next question. That's just going to be opposite over adjacent. So that's just k over the square root of 1 minus k squared. Next is sin 53. See, so now they're using this angle up here, and that sometimes catches students off guard. So sin 53 is opposite over hypotenuse, but now you're, you start at that angle. So the opposite is the 1 or the square root of 1 minus k squared. Hypotenuse is just 1, and so this is the same as just saying the square root of 1 minus k squared. Cos 53. So we just start up here and we use cos. Now cos is adjacent, so adjacent over hypotenuse. And so that's going to end up being k over 1, which is the same as just having k. And then lastly, tan 53. That starts up here. Now tan is opposite over the adjacent, which is just that.